Dream. Metroid Dread exists. It's been more than a month since it was announced, and yet it still feels strange. While longtime fans will be playing other games and waiting patiently, newcomers, such as myself, might want to try out all the previous entries first. It seems simple enough. The 2D Metroid timeline has four games. Metroid, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion. All you have to do is play them all in order, most likely substituting the first two games for their remakes, Metroid Zero Mission and Sam's Returns. And while that's perfectly serviceable, it does present a bit of a conundrum. Samus Returns, the first Metroid title by a third-party developer, has a significantly revamped style, which will likely be the most similar to Dread, so on a gameplay level, you'd want it to be the last game you play before Dread. It'd be kinda weird to play a game in the pixel style, then the 2.5D style, go back to the pixel style for two more games, and then play Dread in the 2.5D style again. It's a clunky mess. But if you move Samus Returns to the back of the order rather than Fusion, you'll be experiencing the story out of order. Metroid has run up against a quintessential problem with reimagining a game in a long-running series. It leaves no clear order to play all of the games in, which is where I come in with the 100% definitive, objectively best order to play the 2D Metroid series. If you've got a different opinion or whatever, you're just wrong. 100% objectively wrong. After Metroid Zero Mission released in 2004, Metroid 2 became a black sheep of the franchise. Until Samus Returns came around, there was no official way to experience the game's story without playing the Game Boy original, which was dated to say the least. Leading many in the community to attempt to create their own remake of the game just like Nintendo did with Zero Mission. So many, in fact, that when Milton Gosti, 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 <coughs> I hope I pronounced that right. So many, in fact, that when Milton Gwasty, or Dr. M64, started his own, he called it another Metroid 2 remake, or AM2R for short. In the end, all of the other notable fan projects never saw the light of day, while his remained an on and off development until it released in 2016, exactly 30 years after Metroid on NES. The title was so acclaimed that most fans who played it, including myself, would say that it's on par in quality with the official entries and should be tweeted. Tweeted? What am I, a toddler now? We're not- we're not- I'm not tweeting here! I'm- I'm talking about video games! Not Twitter! And should be treated as if it were one of them. If you want to experience the story of Metroid in order without jolting between the two styles, this is your best option. Nintendo might have tried to get rid of it with takedown notices, but the internet preserves all. Play Zero Mission, then AM2R, Super Metroid, Fusion, Samus Returns, and eventually... Metroid Dread. Now for some quick questions. What about the Metroid Prime games in Other M? Of the non-2D Metroid games, the Prime Trilogy are the only ones I'd recommend playing. Metroid Prime Hunters and Federation Force are both primarily multiplayer first-person shooters on handhelds, which isn't super appealing or true to the Metroid franchise, and Metroid Prime is just a pinball game. I guess you can play them if you want, but just know that they're providing a very different experience to what Metroid normally would. All the Prime games do take place between Metroid 1 and 2, but they're side stories, so it's completely fine to play them out of order with the rest of the series, potentially waiting for them to get ported to Switch, as long as you don't play 3 before 2 or 2 before 1. Other M is a huge can of worms. Taking place between Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion, most fans completely despise the game, and I'll probably never play it after the almost unanimous disapproval it received. You can try it at your own risk. How can I get my hands on all of these games? Most of them are on older systems that I don't have. Super Metroid is on Nintendo Switch Online, but none of the other four games are on Switch. Both Game Boy Advance entries, Zero Mission and Fusion, were released on the Wii U Virtual Console for 8 bucks, but Nintendo still refuses to bring them to their most modern platform. You can make your own call, but I don't see any problem with emulating them if you don't have a Wii U. If you've never used an emulator before, I recommend MGBA for Game Boy Advance games. There are plenty of other YouTube tutorials to help you out. You'll definitely have to download AM2R off the internet, since it's a technically illegal fan game with no official means of being played. And that's it! Go! Play some Metroid! <laughs>